Hey guys, it's Talia. I am 15 weeks and one day pregnant today. I am actually now in the second trimester, so that's kind of exciting. So every week I post on my Instagram like a weekly uh, bump update where I have just like a picture of my baby bump and then just a few little noticeable things for that week. And that what I posted yesterday for my update was that my belly button I feel is starting to poke out and I've actually let Andrew feel it and he was like, yeah, he noticed it too. That's pretty cool. I'm putting on my lotion like crazy. I'm using that, um, that massage lotion for stretch marks to try to prevent my skin from getting stretch marks because I didn't get any with Kellen. I've been a lot hungrier. It's getting insane. Like I am so hungry for really specific things. Today I could not bear the thought of like eating anything that we had in the house for lunch. I really wanted sourdough bread because like I just have been craving sourdough bread. <laughs> so we went to Panera Bread and I was like, okay, I'm going to order two loaves of sourdough bread because I like, I just want it. I want a whole bunch of it. And they were out of sourdough bread. They didn't have any loaves, so I was like so disappointed. Things like that, I'll just want to go. And I'm trying not to be picky, but it's like I'm craving things that like I just have to go somewhere specific to go get it. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't really improvise with like what we have at home right now. So that's kind of, that kind of sucks. Like I'm trying, I'm trying not to be like annoying to Andrew about it, but yeah, so that's a thing. <laughs> And then another thing is I got my test results. So at my last doctor's appointment, they had me go and get labs done. So they sent my blood work to, um, I believe the company is called Natira. And they did a panel to look for like um, chromosome conditions and, and also like diseases like cystic fibrosis, um, cystic fibrosis, spinal muscular atrophy and fragile X. And then um, they also were gonna be able to determine the gender from that. So that was cool and I was like super excited for that. And um, it took a little over a week, like maybe a week and a half, and I got my results back. And this was just before we had the gender reveal. So we, I found out the gender, I had to keep it a secret from Andrew. But um, I found out the gender um, when I got those results back. Um, as far as the chromosome conditions, the baby is considered low risk for that. Um, and then it said, I am not a carrier for cystic fibrosis, spinal muscular atrophy, or fragile X. So all those came back good. And then we found out that we're having a girl. So that was like super exciting. I first heard it, I was just, I don't know, I was completely speechless like I didn't really know what to say or like how to feel I'm telling Andrew from the beginning like I feel like this is a girl like there's no way um, there's no way that my pregnancy feels so different and it's not a girl this time I just felt like there has to be that has to be the reason um, so yeah I was happy I was right and it was also cool because our um, gender predictor kit that we did was right so that's <laughs> I guess it's kind of accurate. I don't know if that was just a coincidence or what, but yeah, that was the right answer for us. We did the gender reveal. Um, we had the rugby ball. So since I didn't know until like a few days before we had the gender reveal, because um, I didn't get called by the office until then, I went in on Etsy and I ordered two different rugby balls. So I ordered one for boy, one for girl, just so we'd have both of them in time because we we decided to plan the gender reveal and I didn't know it was going to take as long to get like the test results back. So then um, on the day of I brought both of them so Andrew wouldn't tell like which one because they had like a colored sticker on the bottom and I didn't want him to know like which one was which and then when we got to the park I removed the sticker off the pink one and I put I gave that to him to kick. and. So yeah, <laughs> everybody there, like all of our family and stuff, I think most people were thinking it was a girl. And uh, yeah, we weren't really too shocked, but yeah, we were all really happy. It was kind of a hot day. 
to be honest. But other than that, it was good. We went to lunch afterward and got to all hang out for a little while. So last week, I just decided to look up like pregnancy freebies online. And I went to this website. I went on this website called Newbie Box and it's a free pregnancy gift box and it has like a whole bunch of like baby samples and stuff and you can i think all i had to do is pay for the shipping and then i get the box so whatever's in here was free so if you're expecting and you want to get one i i'm about to unbox it right now i don't know what's actually in it it's free so if you want to get one i'll put the link below and um and i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this now this is the inside of the box, and it just got open, and I'm going to go ahead and, up. Oh, only fell out. <laughs> okay, so, um, so this says Lactation Supplement Drink Mix by Milk Flow, and that is uh, chocolate flavored. It says to promote healthy breast milk supply, which I definitely want. There is a newbie guide. And I'm not really sure what's in this. Let me look. So it looks like uh, it has some coupons and just some information, some pregnancy information. Um, I've got got this. It says morning pep prenatal. And it says easy to swallow dietary supplement five tablets. Um, it comes with herbal tea. I'm not too much of a tea drinker, but I'll try it. Oh, here's another one. Green tea, I might try it. I actually do like some green tea, so I'll give that one a chance. Some water wipes. It says the world's purest baby wipes. 99.9% um, .9 water and a drop of fruit extract. And it's got a sample of the massage lotion that I use for my stretch mark prevention. And so I already have this, but I'll have extra now, so that's good. Um, it comes with a zero to six months pacifier, and it says um, actively supports baby's breathing. Nipple design helps uh, position tongue forward to maintain an open airway. And then um, we've got, it says Cuties Complete Care. It has, I guess these are diapers. Yeah, it has five diapers. It looks like they are size one. That's, at least that's what I can tell from the box. I'm not really entirely sure. Um, it comes with Prevail Daily Pads, and I guess this is for after you give birth. And we've got Camellia um, Teething Relief. Looks like five doses of that. Oh, nice. So this has a um, breastfeeding sample. So it comes with two disposable nursing pads and then um, two breast milk storage bags. Oops, sorry, there's a glare. But um, yeah, that comes in handy because I just ordered my free breast pump. Um, I believe the website is Aeroflow, but I will, I'll look at the email in just a moment because I wanted to talk about that after I do this. And then the last thing is um, this diaper rash cream. And it looks like that's everything. So I'm going to put that back in the box. I wanted to talk about the breast pump that I got. So I'm getting a free electric breast pump. Um, and I got that through, let me pull up the email really quick. So, the website was Aeroflow, and that's spelled A-E-R-O-F-L-O-W, um, Aeroflow Breast Pumps, and they can get you free breast pumps through your insurance. So what I did with that is I sent in my insurance card, um, they asked for it via email. So first I logged in and then um, I had a credit for a breast pump, so I have to go through their list of breast pumps that they have. There are some that your credit doesn't cover the full amount, um, so you would have to pay like maybe $20 extra or $50 extra, depending on how like fancy of a breast pump you want to get. 
but the one I got, I didn't um, get anything that my insurance wouldn't cover, so it was completely free. Um, I'm going to try to pronounce this, but I'm not sure if that's correct. It's the Lansino Signature Pro Double Electric Breast Pump with Tote, and um, I'm going to try to pull up a picture of it. And this will be really cool because I've never had an electric breast pump. Um, last time I breastfed, um, and I did that for almost two years straight, I only had the manual pump and I really didn't even use that too much. Um, I was home with Kellen most of the time. I mean, there was really like no time that I wasn't with him. So I didn't really pump too much, didn't really have the need for it. But since I'm gonna be working full time, I want to have this available so that I can use it and continue to breastfeed um, as long as I can really. I, I think it's really beneficial. Okay, so the the pump that I got, um, it's a, it's $80.46 at Walmart. So it's around 80 bucks at Walmart and Target. Um, and I got it for free, so that's pretty cool. It looks like this. Sorry, it's not focusing. It's got pretty good reviews and it comes with a little tote bag and everything so that's awesome and I would really encourage you if you're gonna breastfeed to go on that site if you have insurance and um, it was really easy it was really fast I will go ahead and show you guys my belly So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry that I missed last week. We've had so much going on trying to plan the gender reveal and then Kellen was starting his virtual learning school year. So I'm gonna try really hard to keep track of my videos better. I'm just, this is just a crazy, this, the start of the school year is always hard. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and being patient with me. <laughs> And I will see you guys next week for my 16-week update. Bye.